Hello everyone, and welcome back to Muscle Gerbil Plays Echo. Last time we had a couple of just straightforward stealth rooms. We learned that gotta take it slow, take it patient, and you get through just fine. Here we're presented with another blue orb puzzle. And it looks like there's a lot of them. So we're going to have to find a way to get all of these and get out of this room alive and safe. Let's do it. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of these blue orbs. And the room is multi-tiered. So there's going to be a lot of verticality. Try and apply what we learned last time about taking things nice and slow. The only problem with that is that since the enemies respawn after each cycle, you can't really backtrack. You can't clear out a path. Because the path is going to keep reconstituting itself each time. And I'm not 100% sure how these low walls work. Because sometimes they can see me over them, sometimes they can't. Picked up another tuning fork. Got a defense weapon now. Got some orbs. We've already wasted our defense item. And now we're reset. I wonder if this can lure. Lure them. No, they don't seem to mind the tuning forks too much. See, see if we can hide behind the chair. All right. I'm gonna go up a level because I feel like I can always come back down and get get the ones on ground level. But I need to explore this. I should be completely hidden right here. Oh, she's... She's stealthing me. I think that is the very first successful sneak around an object and take him down that I've ever done. Ah, so not only can the palace learn, but I can learn as well. Oh! And I immediately, I immediately threw all of that learning out the window. It seems that the takedown is a little bit of a waste of time, though. Because it takes so much time to knock them out. That you might not have enough time to get the cycles. Because all the echoes come back. Can I take them down when they're crouching? Yes, I can. Does that mean they've learned how to sneak up on me and take me down? Because every time they always just grab me. I mean, from the front, at least. 
I've never seen him try and take me down from the behind. I can see all the orbs from here. Oh, oh. I got stuck looking at orbs. Alright, I tried to play Ring Around the Rosie. That didn't work. Let's see if it works this time. It did. I can use their stealth against them. Because they're trying to be stealthy. Oh, I knew it. Oof, that one had an orb in its hand. Instant death. That was just instantaneous death. Wow. No chance to even fight it off. Whew. Okay, then. Me talking, talking some smack about them. They did not seem to like that. They got me back real quick. Darn it! I'm just gonna take all the orbs that I can. Halfway there. So then they can't have any. Halfway there already. Okay, this is moving quicker than some of the other blue orb rooms. Whoa. Almost saw me. I need to start holding the button down as I get close to him. Because it'll automatically do it. I don't have to get in range and then press the button. That's where I've been tripping myself up. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, I had an escape route. At least. Gonna keep going. There's gotta be some orbs around here. Some blue orbs, not some basher orbs. I would like to find another safe point too. But that might be a, might be asking a little much. Right, there's gonna be one around the corner. Staring straight in my direction. If I hold the button with an orb in my hand, I can do a silent takedown. Or a takedown, because they're not completely silent. Okay. Learning a lot this episode. <laughs> But now with the blackout, the reset. Gotta be careful when opening doors. I think I may have cleared out this floor. Might be time to move up a level. Or down a level. Whichever one's more convenient. Let's move down. I think I dropped my... You can drop the orb. 
did not know I could drop the orb. That's not good. Oh, I'm right back where I started. So I need to get around to the other side. They do notice them. Oh! No, she's choking me out! Theory confirmed. They can indeed choke you out. Wonderful. So they can learn a lot of different actions. They're not just limited to... Oh! Just did a backflip. Halfway there. You gotta love ragdoll animations when they freak out like that. I wonder if pacifist runs are even possible in this game. I assume they would be if, with the right skill set. That you could get you could get through this game without attacking anything. If you're going for the big boss rating. Uh, I need to get over to that other side. No, 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 I, oh, I thought I was in the clear. Nope, no, not in the clear, not in the clear. Oh, not cool. That was so not cool of that, that echo. Oh, navigating in. During the blackouts is a very large challenge. So I can kite this one. Alright, is it gonna lose interest? Okay, check left, check right. There we go. Wonder if this game has stats. Like when I get to the end of this game, if it's gonna give me a performance review of how many times I was seen and whatnot. Because I'm trying to keep track of deaths. I'm gonna need you to stay away from me. Oh, I just let two of them know I was there. Just gonna have to take them out. Oh, it's not good. <laughs> At least I have a little bit of 
a window of opportunity to take them out when the power comes back on. We've really got to get to that other side. That's where all the rest of the orbs are. Oh, a save point. That's an oasis in the desert there. Alright, this floor looks pretty sparse. Oh, I don't know if I should... If I should teach him how to open up bridges. Oh, but I might need to, because some bridges, they're only activated from one side. So I might need to teach them that, so they can do different, or open up different pathways. Try and get these as quick as I can. Like, see, I can't open it from there. But if one sees me, and wants to come after me... Hiding them. All right, good. Perfect. Is that all of them? That's all of them. Right? Where's the big center room that I have to go to? I don't have anything on my HUD. Oh, it's below me. Alright, well they can't get to me up here. That was a unintentionally pro move. Jump down. Oh, I need two, two bars of energy to jump down that way. Not good. Not good. You've got plenty. Maybe head for the lift below. All right. You know, London, I'm I'm trying to do that. If you don't mind. But I need to get some energy right now. Got it. Ooh, I'm just barely avoiding them. Do I just make a break for it? No, no I don't. Because that one is still hunting me. I need to wait for that echo to leave this area. Screw it, go for it. I need to grab that tuning fork. Oh, is it gonna work if the power's off? Yes. Woo! Made it. Oh, I must have missed a lot of tuning forks. Because I cannot read any of that. 
Ooh, it would be a struggle to get all those tuning forks. And you dozed off. 116 kilometers this time. 116 kilometers? That's like a million miles. Wow, even with the power on, this level of the palace is dark. We've got blue flames to illuminate our way. This is setting up a very ominous atmosphere here. Huh. I can't open the door, and it doesn't shoot out spikes either. There's another throne. Oh, things never seem to go well when we sit on these things. Let's hope that this throne treats us a little bit better. Next time.